All right, guys, your man Chef from Off the Dome back in for another video. Here to make a short video about 6ix9ine. We look back on 6ix9ine. It is now, I would say, five years. I believe it's almost five years since he first blew up in uh, early 2017 when he started getting heard around the internet. And of course, he had that massive, huge run in 2018 where he became the guy in hip hop where he's basically all the bragging and stuff he did about being number one, it was backed up. He had hit songs, he had songs enter the chart. Fifi didn't just go away, Gummo stayed a while. The uh, stupid song of Bobby Smurda stayed on the chart for about six, seven weeks. So he had a lot of songs and he started getting plaques in, and all of a sudden, the federal investigation guys, the FBI, went ahead and got him. Everybody thought he was going to get a long sentence. He squealed, got a short or reduced sentence. COVID happened. They let him go. Came out 2020. He went ahead and dropped two big hits. And after that, he dropped the album. He's blackballed from the industry, which I understand. That's part of the reason why I didn't count the other album sales officially. And instead of his number one debut being 150, like projected, since he took away some of the sales or streams, it was 52,000. And that overall made him look like a major flop. And from that point on, 6 9 has basically been the butt of every joke when it comes to snitching. And all of his new music he's released hasn't really caught on. He hasn't really dropped anything, posted anything in a while because he realized his hype is buzzed down. He thinks if he goes away, he'll come back to something huge. The sad reality is this probably is the end of Road 6 9 just like Lil Pump, Smoke Perp, and a lot of other rappers from that era with the dreads, the face tattoos, the tats everywhere, the clout chasing. Yeah, a lot of them are seeing diminishing returns. Even guys like um, Ski Mask, he, he has Stokely, a very successful project, and now it looks like his new album, when it comes out, might not do the numbers that the other one did. He might not be at the same point. A lot of the guys have really fallen off since some SoundCloud rap days. And looking at 2022, 6 9 the question now begs, it's crazy how, what would have happened if 6 9 would never got caught by the feds or if he would never snitched? Well, one, we know the answer. If he didn't snitch, he was going to do 40 some years. So that's not an option. But realistically, for 6 9 what if the feds never got him? Would his career be just as successful as it was or would he eventually fall off? Obviously, I think that type of attention-seeking and things of that nature, you're going to fall off either way. But he may have prolonged his success a little more. But then again, there's the other factor of his debut album did 70,000 copies of some change. And it would have did more if he didn't go to jail. The week he went to jail is the week that I think his album dropped. They dropped it a week or so after he went to jail. So technically, he, he might have had the potential to sell a lot more if he was free. And we also go back to the point of, and this is the craziest thing. I heard it mentioned a little bit, but not a lot. The craziest thing is that a guy who, you know, was convicted on child pedophilia charges. I know that, you know, he always has an explanation for it. But the point is, he's a convicted sex offender. A guy that's a convicted sex offender was able to become the biggest thing in hip-hop. Everybody was able to surpass him, forego that. But when he started doing gang stuff and snitched on the gang, that was the beginning of his black ball in the career. That alone should show you how the industry is so messed up and how there's a lot of things that people aren't telling you. And I'll leave the video saying this. We talk about R. Kelly, we talk about Chris Brown for toxic singers, we talk about toxic rappers. But the truth is that the industry was able to allow a sexual predator as that's what they labeled him. He was able to get past that label and become a big rap star. Then imagine who else they're protecting that's even bigger than 6 9 And that's why I want to leave you with the video saying, just watch out who you like in the industry, watch out who you listen to. Honestly, music and art is something different, and a lot of people you listen to probably done some terrible things. But don't just think that it's a coincidence that even though he did something in his hands as what they say he did with the child, that snitching was then finally caught him up. That goes until, well, maybe they want people to stay silent. Maybe they don't want people to tell the truth. Maybe they don't want people to say something when something is wrong. That's what all goes back into. But overall, wrapping up, after I'm getting off my soapbox. Overall, 6ix9ine was a very successful rapper. And he did some things that nobody thought he would ever do. 
and I give him credit for the years of 2017 to 2020. He was one of the most talked about figures in music, not just hip hop, music overall. Massive Instagram and Twitter following every single thing he did was on all sources and websites. He was covered by pretty much every main page every single second of the day. He had, I believe he has three top 10 hits to his name. The guy made a great career for so uh, Gooba, Fifi, and Trolls, all top 10 hits, Gumbo in the top 20. He has multi platinum records and he has a lot to, you know, be proud of. But at the end of the day, he got too big for his britches and he eventually fell off like everybody thought he was going to do back in 2018. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about him being accepted into the industry after being found out to be a sexual predator versus snitching. And also let me know where you think he can go from there. I think this year is pretty much it for him. There won't be anything we hear from in 2022. I don't think he's going to drop anything. I think academics was right. Numbers matter a lot to him. He doesn't want to be clowns. I don't think he's going to drop anything again. I think he's pretty much going to drop songs here and there and be a social media celebrity. But music-wise, I think his career is over. He's tapped out. So leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe. It's your man, Chef from Off the Dome. I'm signing out. Peace.